A Chaos Space Marine's Diary. The following text is made up of notes from the diary of a Chaos Space Marine in the Black Legion. Dreaded Diary. Day 1. Week 1. Arrived at new camp on planet Ithkulga. Started to feel pain in left arm. No idea why. Hung piece of paper on brother Ardia's backpack reading purge me and had a good and sinister laugh with the rest of the lads. Brother Behemon painted the coolest ever winged skull on his shoulder plate today, and was brutally butchered by the Garvest Rigger, exalted champion of chaos for being a Night Lord's sympathizer. Day 2. Week 1. Pain in arm growing. Went to Chaos Sorcerer, who told me three words extremis uncomfortablis mutatis. I am visiting brother Arza tomorrow, to ask about mutation symptoms. Arza has already got an ostrich leg and a bat's nose. The gov didn't like the purge me joke. And as punishment I spent 3 hours writing your dead back to front on the front of my squad's rhino, in preparation for next week's big city fight. Attended brother Behemon's funeral today. The way Sergeant Sargath placed his bloodied skull atop that burning mound of bones really stirred some emotions. But we all forgot our sadness and frustration by getting leglessly drunk on boozed up blood afterwards. Day 3, Week 1. Awoke with a terrible hangover from last night, and hung on my bed I found a picture of me making out with a demonette. This, of course, led to quite a few hows, whys and how and Zaza who by the way has been gifted an additional ostrich leg by his patron told me to expect a hideous mutation of my left arm. Although I have yet to read about the pros and cons of mutation, I am hoping for either a whip-like tentacle or a massive crab's claw. Found a scorched skull on the ground and hung it in my belt, but was then given a thorough lesson from Sarge about martial honor, and how one shall only display battle trophies that oneself has won. Frankly I couldn't care less what he and the blood god thinks. Day 4, Week 1. Today we sacked an undefended city on the planet Ernie. Found a convenience store selling cereal boxes called Corn Chaos a fitting name, I might add. The gov, however, took the cereal's title as an insult mocking his patron, Corn and burned the shop personally. Fortunately I managed to grab the latest issue of Universe at War before the magazine rack was consumed by the flames. Got into a fight with brother Octavius over which of the two destroyed legions landed on Istvan V first. He claimed it was the fragment missing, but surely it was the colossal landing crafts of the fragment missing legion which first touched the ground, played death poker with the lads before going to bed. The only casualty was brother Magnon, who bought it in the fourth round. Won myself a neat little master crafted beauty of a bolt pistol, and a bottle of some blow liquid. Note the bottle was labeled do not add anything. Day 5, week 1 today, the gov beheaded brother Raphilus for having tattooed a certain rune on his forehead. But Raphilus died with a smile on the face of his severed head, having had great fun tricking the entire company into believing that he had been given the mark of corn. Pain and arm growing. The sorcerer told me to expect a mutation any day. I still find it hard to believe that I have particularly pleased one of the powers, except for perhaps amusing Slani by symbolically eating that elder's waystone in a battle a few weeks ago. That stone was hard as rock, by the way, and it really messed up my teeth. And I was hoping for fangs and all. Attended pint night with the rest of the squad. In lack of boozed up blood, drank the blow liquid I won at the poker game. The liquid turned out stronger and fiercer than an irritated bloodthirster, and sent me running to the latrine, screaming like a horror. Before I reaching it, I had already vomited half my interiors all over the newly polished land raider. Note formed the vomit into looking like an evil face, and the tank commander was impressed when he saw it the next day. Day 6, week 1 last night I had a long vision of Siege, telling me how mad he was at me. I spent all night running from his minions in the psychic realm. How I earned the wrath of Sinchi boy that old trickster is beyond me, was told at the mess that the blue liquid I had drunk last night was in fact an antidote to Nurgle's rot, and was lifted up by a group of plague marines and carried across the courtyard, being praised and honored by the foul men. Never before have I drunk and thereby destroyed the nemesis of an entire squad of marines. Note my new nickname is Doom Drinker, apparently. Day 7, Week 1. Awoke with left arm fully mutated. A beautiful tentacle thingy, slimy and gross. Had great fun coiling it around brother Zanan's throat and almost strangling him. Went to Azza's tent with a bunch of possesses, and had a who's got the most hideous body part competition. Brother Igmarius won, sporting a toe with a fly's head and little legs of its own. Got tickets for tomorrow's Emperor's Children gig on the planet Hearthrus IV. Note bus leaves at 4.0 went to Chaos Sorcerer in hope of finding out which god has gifted me with the tentacle. After 2 hours of the sorcerer looking at the arm and taking down notes, 
came the following answer it is probably either corn, tsinch, nurgle or slanesh, no big surprises there, day 1, week 2, went all day fooling around camp, for fun, pretended to be a nutter and was grouped with a possessed squad, learned all there is to know about being possessed, and wrote down some of their most memorable lines, the emperor wins in the end, does my host have bad breath, and man, the looks of this host are spoiling my chances of getting laid, in the evening, went to emperor's children concert on hearthras iv, went backstage and got idolan's autograph, and got my picture taken next to him, holding a blast master, after the concert, almost my entire squad talked about joining the slanishy cult, note group pressure is a bad thing looking forward to tomorrow's sit fight, spent the late hours painting terror markings and contrasting colors on my armor, along with the lads, only one of them had actually pledged his soul to Slani after the concert, and we helped him paint ridiculous color patterns and naughty artwork on his armor. Day 2, week 2, had a good old city fight in Yonas, the capital of the planet Kravis. Tried out the bolt pistol I had one at the poker game, but killed no one with it except brother Elmius by accident. He was probably gonna die anyway, right? Ended with the bolt pistol blowing up in my hand and rendering me unable to use a weapon. Ever tried holding a bolt gun with a tentacle? Despite pain and being physically challenged I managed to impress Sarge by strangling two hapless citizens with my tentacle in less than 10 seconds. On the way back to base, I got friendly with Corn Berserker Archerian, and after he initially tried to chop my head off, we had an interesting conversation about social issues and skull taking. Day 3, Week 2. Awoke finding Archurian licking the blood off my wounded hand which I had forgotten to do something about. Went with Archurian to the tech marine, who replaced my wounded hand with a robot one. The sad thing is that if it had been treated right away, I would only have had to replace 96.7% of my hand, and not the whole thing. Archurian put his name up in the list for some more psychosurgery. I said I like natural rage better, but he won't listen and kept claiming it would make give him better self confidence and make him more attractive. For an evening out, I went to the killing grounds with the rest of my squad, to fight a pack of brutish beastmen. Did many things that Archurian had taught me, but discovered that I still have to work on my double deck up. Note must remember to send I am sorry letter to brother Lurg. Day 4, week 2, was told that brother Lurg from my squad died last night from wounds sustained at the killing grounds yesterday. Unfortunately no one noticed how he was wounded, although Lurg probably did, it was hard for him to explain without his jaw. Note must remember to burn the I am sorry letter 29 played death poker in the evening, won nothing, and lost half my miniature collection, including the special character Ambo. We play with the miniatures in a game called Warhammer 2k. Day 5, week 2. Sarge found the I am sorry letter before I had time to burn it. Surprisingly, he didn't mind the fact that it was either one who had inflicted the mortal wounds on Lurg by accident, of course. Instead, he said that Korn apparently favors those who kill their friends and allies, and fetched Lurg's severed jaw for me to wear as a trophy, was part of a group of marines ordered to test the new dread claws. The pod I was in failed to work, and plummeted to the ground at lightning speed. The pod crashed in a desert area of the planet, the impact killing everyone in the pod except me. Hours later I was found unconscious by the search team, with a third degree burn on my tentacle and without a lower jaw. Day 6, week 2 left the field hospital gene mixing lab early in the morning, with a bandaged tentacle and a fully functional jaw. Apparently, they hadn't found my original one. So they took the one hanging on a chain around my neck and put that one on instead. Went to Azza's tent to ask how to treat injured mutated limbs. Azza, the poor, has by now been given a turtle shell and pig's head although he still got the bat's nose, and was not in the mood to talk about mutations. Instead we discussed career possibilities in the Legion, and advancing to high ranks. I've found out that possible career choices are, to join one of the cults, become a biker or havoc specialist, survive long enough to become a veteran get possessed, almost die and become a dreadnought, or become a driver. Tough choice, A. Eh? In the evening, I returned to the killing grounds with my squad, this time pitched against a group of imperial captives. We barely made it out alive, although this time I managed to perfectly execute the double decker. Day 7, week 2 the talk with Azza yesterday really got me thinking. Walked around the camp, asking the different marines about what career they had chosen. So far, the cults seem unlikely although the plague marines will of course welcome doom drinker into their group anytime, and becoming possessed seems to leave few chances of advancing further in the ranks. Besides, 
having a face growing out of my chest and babbling philosophical nonsense all day isn't my biggest ambition in life. Later, the camp was visited today by a small group of word bearers led by a chaplain, coming to tell us all about why we should join their legion instead. Their endless preaching was cut short when the gov intervened, butchering them to a man. The survivor was held down and his armor was taken off. Then the gov tattooed the eye of Horus on his forehead, and black legion rocks all over his chest. He was then carried into a spaceship, and finally jettisoned into space in a sarcophagus marked a logger. Day 1, week 3 had nothing to do half the day, so went with brother Ixius to the paint shed where we stylized our armor some more. Ixius painted a large eye for Ixius on his chest plate, although I am sure I've seen that particular letter displayed in similar manners before. Started preparing this week's lighting raid on an imperial hive city called Necromunda. Apparently, the gov and all his officers and allies had been planning this raid for months, and have done all the necessary calculations. With the forces we're gonna use, the hive city will be reduced to a scorched wasteland littered with the dead in no time. In the evening, the gov violently slaughtered one of his own marines. The reason was that the marine had been given a mutated head by his god. What had his head mutated into? Two eagle heads. Day 2. Week 3 got up early to play blood hockey with the lads, against a team composed of bloodthirsty beastmen and some imperial prisoners. With the game being my first one for ages, I only managed 2 kill goals and 1 goal kill. In the end, we won the game 18-3. Later, my squad and I was ordered into the desert region of the planet to crush a beastman rebellion against us. When arriving, we saw that without any material to build a proper base with, they had constructed a gigantic sand castle in the middle of the sea of sand dunes. I was the big hero of the campaign, firing the decisive and only shot which took down their stronghold, burying them underneath was rewarded a medallion by the gov, which was ripped from my armor again when the lads told him what kind of resistance we had met. Day 3, week 3 brother Taxius and brother Cormius came up with a great tactical idea to day havoc bikers. Taxius and Cormius decided on sharing their stroke of strategic genius with the gov himself, and went at once to his throne room. Strangely enough, only one of them received a public execution for their stupidity Cormius. In fact the gov assembled a unit of havoc bikers, and made Taxius the unit sergeant. Apparently, the gov thought leading such a pointless unit on the battlefield would be proved to be punishment enough. Around noon, brother Praetorax threw a spray of Mr. Clean into the plague marine's tent as a joke. Punishment was dished out by the gov, who ensured that Praetorax will have his hands busy for quite a while. Praetorax was ordered to polish the armor of all the company's plague marines, and only when every single piece of armor has passed the white glove test, will he be allowed to stop. Not surprisingly, a dozen of our company's marines joined the Nurgle cult today, for obvious reasons. Used most of the day packing my bags and preparing for the Hive City assault. Day 4, Week 3, nothing was written this day. Day 5, Week 3 mission to destroy Hive City Necromunda yesterday was cancelled, as our base fell under attack by a force of iron warriors before sunrise. Me and the rest of my squad were taken as captives by them and we were taken deep into the warp aboard a small space hulk the iron warriors had mobilized. Their commanding warsmith said to us, half of your men escaped, half of your men were killed, and the last half were captured so much for the iron warriors cold and efficient logic but he also told us how amazed he was by our defense skill, and that he was impressed by our tactical abilities. Apparently, the havoc bikers had held back the iron warriors for several hours, allowing men and marines to escape the doomed base. Today, we landed on a desert planet Talam or Talon or something for unknown reasons, and from my iron cage which I was held in I overheard two iron warriors playing in the sand. My sand castle is bigger than yours. No it iced. Yes it is, and it has less cannons here and here, and these are missile launchers. Well mine's got that as well. And a moat full of skulls and bobbed wire. Your less cannons there and placed at the right spots. What if the enemy attacked here? Or here? Or put heavy fire on this wall? You'd have to concentrate the fire on that area over by the dead lizard, while your terminators got into position over by that pile of bones. And barbed wire placed over there isn't gonna slow the enemy down. Y'all've gotta put another turret on this spot here, next to the cactus, and have warriors standing ready over here in case of a breakthrough. And what if that scorpion over there assaulted this wall? It'd suggest a squad off. No doubt the iron warriors are tactical genii. I never learned what their business on the desert planet was, and we left only hours later. 
Day 6. Week 3 early in the morning, we were brutally dragged from our warm and comfy chains and shackles and pitched against a squad of obliterators in a game of interplanetary blood hockey. We were solemnly beaten 23 to 2, with 2 casualties, 1 IGB in game betrayal, and 4 of our men are probably still drifting into space. Discovered on my way back to the cell that the gov is also aboard the Hulk. Not a big surprise really, as it's not like him to run away or die in the heat of battle. Played death poker with a makeshift deck of cards on dusk, and I stole the show, winning 3 pieces of dry bread and 5 glasses of stagnant water. Day 7, week 3 enjoyed a peaceful day in the cell. Nothing much happened, apart from brother Garvius being put in a straitjacket, brother Zathras climbing the walls, and the ever complaining, ever whining. Always annoying brother Ursha being knocked out, permanently. Not by me, I swear. Later, a brilliantly cooperated jailbreak was carried out, led by the Gov. All the Black Legion captives aboard the Space Hulk rampage through the drifting metal behemoth, killing everything we met, and probably everything we didn't meet. Considering we ended it all by blowing the Hulk into at least two pieces. Doesn't have the same effect as a million pieces, does it? Day 1, week 4 back on our good old planet. We all celebrated our happy return with a visit to the killing grounds. Even the gov joined in, and we all had a merry time killing each other, since there was no one else to fight. The gov said afterwards that events like these are necessary to determine who are worthy of serving him. Those who died were obviously not worthy. Later, we partied in the mess, the sorcerer conjuring drinks from the depths of the war, and we all got totally hammered. Note it's fun dancing with horrors when you're drunk. Day 2. Week 4 received tragic news that brother Pretorax had committed suicide with a bomb, finally having had enough of polishing plague infested armor. There was a memorial service at noon, with the very few remains of Pretorax being ritually fed to a pack of wild mutant geese. Everyone attended except the plague marines, who had lost both their servant and their sergeant when the bomb went off. Ironically, the bomb explosion had burned every drop of slime off their armor. Brother Aza, the toy of the gods which he has been titled by his superior has received yet another mutation. His latest hideous feature is a frog's chin, and while we was captured aboard the Space Hulk, he had been gifted a fishtail. Lay awake all night because of the noises coming from his tent. Note Redip and Croak are the two most annoying sounds in the galaxy. Day 3, week 4 felt like doing nothing, so rented 3 videos with some of my squad mates. Edward Lightning Claws, Children of the Corn and a documentary film starring among others the gov himself. Pitch Black Crusade. After having watched films for hours and eventually getting fed up, we went to the mess. On the tent, there hung a large poster with a picture of his majesty Abaddon the Despoiler, pointing at us with his talon of Horus. And the text read Abaddon wants you, inspired by the movie we had just watched and just for kicks. Of course, my entire squad including me put their names up for the next Black Crusade. We decided that burning planets, killing imperials and enslaving billions looks great, and we made the gov really proud of us too. Later, we found this really neat piece of armor in the junkyard, and brother Hallus put it on at once. Of course, no one told him that what he had just put on was a suit of armor from the Thousand Suns Legion. And we quickly discovered that it was still occupied by its original wearer, when the armor ran off with Hallus screaming to get out. Day 4, week 4 today, Sludge told us that there were already thousands of regulars who had signed up for his majesty Abaddon's next black crusade. In order to participate in the crusade, our squad had to choose a more specialized style of warfare, since there was still a shortage of specialist troops in the black crusade army. We had a poll, and it was soon decided that our path was to become bikers. Without further ado, we all started practicing to become bikers, something that was quite hard considering we had not been issued any bikes yet. Saw the new poster at the mess, telling that there is a contest to see who can recruit the most marines into joining the Black Crusade. First prize is an antique shoulder plot worn by the great commander Orgoth. That's for recruiting 20 marines. Went to Uzzah's tent and tried persuading him into joining the crusade. And he finally agreed to, after I had outdone myself in making up lame reasons for him to join. Day 5, week 4 got up before sunrise and ran around camp recruiting marines to join the crusade. I realized that if I wake them from their sleep early in the morning, most of the marines will say or agree to do anything as long as you go away and let them sleep. Went to the head office and handed in the paper with all the signatures. It actually turned out that I didn't win the recruitment contest, as the berserker champion had walked around the camp last night and forced a heap of marines to join. 
If the choice is between going on a black crusade or getting you head cut off, what would you have chosen? Anyway, I won second prize, a really cool replica of Can the Betrayer's helmet. After scaring a few of my squadmates out of bed by wearing the helmet and shouting blood for the blood god, I painted it black and adorned it with the Eye of Horus. The most infamous of all the chaos symbols, plus it's my favorite one, went to Azza's tent and helped him paint the eye on his turtle shell. Actually, I didn't, and wrote instead one man zoo, a mean thing to do. Hardly, since mutants always say they want to be treated like everyone else. Day 6, week 4 today, some crucial messages were given to us by Sarge. The Black Crusade is commencing in one week, but we won't be joining it until the main fleet comes to our system, which should happen a few days later. Also, he told us that our squad had been accepted to become bikers, and that our bikes would be issued to us when we joined the fleet. Finally, he told us that the Gov has been accepted into a Baton's inner circle of lords for the crusade. Apparently, this is to be celebrated next week at the newly built pub Pleasure House Sex, Drugs and Worse, erected by the Slanishy cult. Went around camp all day trying to get hold of some drinks for next week's party. I came over several choices the regular boozed up blood, a bottle of Brother Bravius belly burner, and some green slime which stuck to the wall when I threw it. In the end, I went with the belly burner for variety, since the slime tasted bad, and I am tired of boozed up blood. Besides, the last time I drank it, I vomited up big lumps of coagulated blood the next day, which pleased only the berserker who I allowed to have them. Played death poker with the squad, and lost my fake corn necklace oh no. I also lost a gold tooth that I never knew I had. Apparently, brother Renger, who won it, had been a friend of brother Lurk, the former owner of my jaw. Day 7, week 4 walked around camp with brother Firmicus and sold off all the gear that we won't be needing when we become bikers. Traded our beloved heavy bolter for a skull shaped helmet, an antique deck of cards and a small chaos familiar that was found in the mess sink this morning. After a big, bloody fight that probably pleased Korn, brother Hallus got to keep the skull helmet. Then we played a quick game of death poker with the new cards without the full rules, since we wanted to be at full strength for the crusade, and since no one wanted the familiar, I guess I stuck with it. In the evening, Sarge assembled us in the main tent where we were to discuss biker tactics. After hours of debating, arguing, countless feet being stamped and fists being hammered onto the table in rage, we finally agreed on a strategy the good old charge. Day 1, week 5 had nothing to do, so I went with brother Furyax to the killing grounds, to test our metal against the good old beastman horde. Despite our fearless fighting, me even managing a double deck up without trying to, we were outnumbered and quickly surrounded. But fortunately, some last minute help in the form of the Berserker squad arrived, and they quickly turned the place into a fountain of blood. Used the rest of the afternoon trying to get all the beastman blood off my armor. Later, I went to the mess to try out today's special, Rotting Corpse. Plague Marines had mess duty today it tasted kinda out of date. Day 2, Week 5 borrowed the latest copy of Universe at War from Brother Vulcus, and read interesting article on combat bikes. Got some really cool ideas for my future metal steed that's what us pros call our bikes, and I am definitely gonna try out the flame pattern. Later today, the list of crusade squads was hung up. It turned out that two thirds of our company, including the gov himself, have enlisted into his majesty Abaddon's crusade. Noted down names of all the squads joining squad Estragoraptors, led by the gov himself, squad Darkus Possessed, squad Zerus Havox, squad Sargoth that's us. Bikers, of course, Squad Tragius Plague Marines and Squad Mhorkorus Berserkers. Also, were committing a Rhino APC in the Land Raider Eternal Hatred to serve in Abaddon's forces. Went to Azza's tent in the evening. He's not been put in any of the squads, it turned out, but is being taken along with some other weirdo marines to be used as auxiliaries. Had a long chat with him, mostly about violence and the meaning of death. Noticed before I left that it looks like a pair of rabbit ears are appearing on his head. Day 3, week 5 the day started with us talking about the world eaters at the mess. When we came to the fact that they have no recorded home world, brother Hades found a good reason why. They ate it. Stupidity execution carried out by the gov, who hates stupid people and doesn't like bad jokes either. Only minutes later, brother Angor foolishly asked out loud, if Slanish is the god of sex. Why is it seen who's got a thousand sons? It resulted in the gov having killed two of his own men for being stupid before breakfast was over. Checked the mail, and found a fly with join the blood drinkers anonymous. 
found out it was some kind of imperial junk mail sent to the wrong address. In the evening, the slightly delayed party to celebrate our return was held. We were captured aboard a space hulk. Remember, we all had a jolly good time, but soon a pack of demons invited themselves to the party. Before night was over, a drunken Plagubra had vomited on brother Fratius killing him, a swarm of Nurglings got the land raider going and drove away with it, and three of our men were possessed by demons. It all came to a finale when an enormous great unclean one materialized in the pub, squashing several marines and cultists to death upon its arrival. Note Nurgloid demons are very annoying. Remember not to get possessed by one. Day 4, week 5 awoke face down in a puddle of slime behind the bar. Got up just in time to get out of the pub before it was demolished. Apparently, it was fully trashed inside, and so full of slime from the demons that dropped in last night, that the gov found no reason to keep it standing. Instead, he is planning to erect a chaos monolith in its place. Our squad was called to search for the land raider which was hijacked by the nerglings last night. We eventually found it half buried by sand in the desert region of the planet. It was littered with dead nerglings, dried up and shriveled, who obviously couldn't cope with the heat. Brother Furyax insisted riding back to base on top of the tank, but it almost cost him his life. When we returned his lungs were half filled with sand, and he was twice as heavy to carry because of the amount of sand inside his armor. Use the rest of the afternoon sharing thoughts about war with the familiar. Day 5, week 5, day 6, week 5 finally found my diary. Who on earth put it under my bed? Thanks to whoever it was, I didn't get to write anything in it yesterday. Had a talk with Azahu who by the way has got a pair of rabbit ears now, just as I predicted. He says he's going to be grouped with the possessed once we join the Black Crusade. Even though there isn't actually a demon inside him yet. Had a glass of vintage boozed up blood slightly coagulated. But that's how it's supposed to be. Apparently and talked about how the crusade's gonna be like. Promised we'd meet again before we leave. Day 7. Week 5 spent the day making huge posters and banner reading War Master. Command us and welcome. Your Highness. They were all spread out on the campgrounds facing upwards. Brother Grax dug a deep hole in the ground and covered it with a huge sheet, on which he had written land here. It was just intended as a joke, of course. However, the gov quickly found out the hard way, and Grax was shackled, gagged and blindfolded and thrown in the pit immediately. However, he was not buried alive. Instead, the gov simply covered the pit again with the same sheet. Talk about digging your own grave. We all wrote our wills in the mess. Decided that if I die, Sludge can keep all my stuff. Note remember to make sure brother Trivus doesn't survive the crusade, since he's put me up for his antique pre-heresy bolter if he dies. Couldn't sleep, lay awake thinking about the crusade. What will Abaddon be like? How long before I get my bike? How many planets will we burn? Will I be dead before we return? Fuck me, now I really enjoyed that. I loved all the hijinks that the Chaos Space Marines got up to over the course of like, you know, basic training, I'm going to call this. Uh, you know, um, I, like, you know, you're going to have to wait and see what happens to our champion Doom Drinker during the Black Sea. Trust me, it's good though. If you enjoyed this as much as I have so far, it just gets better. In all honesty, I think it's great. Like, you know, I, 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 I don't know. I, I just love the way all the different, like, you know, squads interact with each other and what they make of each other and, like, you know, all that type of stuff. I don't know. I thought it was really a lot of fun. And it's just something that I haven't really personally, like, you know, thought about that much. You know what I mean? I'm not the biggest, like, you know, chaos Space Marine fan, like, oh, I do enjoy Chaos, but I would lean more into demons and stuff like that than actual Marines, you know, but that's just me, though, I don't know. But anyway, like, I hope you guys have enjoyed. The next part will be out within the next coming week. Um, definitely like and subscribe, like, you know, click that notification bell to step to speed with the next video. Uh, it's definitely something to look out for, and I hope you guys have enjoyed. I'll see you in the next video. If you haven't already, check out my Redbubble portfolio. You might just find something you like. This this is not okay. This needs to stop now. This is cancer. This, this is so much cancer that I can feel the tumors growing on my back. And it's way down heavy on me, and it's not okay. Can you help a nigga out and just stop this? Please?